as you can see we've just come off the official uh, offers dykes path circling around the main uh, hill now on the side here coming up the cat's back eventually yeah picked another great day to come out as well really warm great weather and uh, i'm in a very good mood because i've uh, finished most of my uh, final projects my work projects worked hard this week really enjoyed it and uh, i think today is a nine mile route <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to climbing that bad boy. It's going to be hard to try and stop taking pictures today. Yeah, oh wow, just look at this. Awesome. That is what it's all about. So good for our minds from places like this. A mate of mine uh, we had uh, quite an open dialogue about our uh, mental health and, and through conversation he was telling me you know I'm not doing too I'm not doing so good so could I, could I just have a chat opening up and allowing him to have that dialogue with me I think has really helped him a lot and he's already put steps in place uh, like seeking a therapist and uh, pushing himself out of his comfort zone more and just all really healthy things which is amazing I just think it's so important that we don't brush these things aside and we have these deep conversations with our friends, family even, if possible. Um, and for me, um, you know, I've had my struggles. I'm proud to say I, I don't suffer with depression anymore. We all have our bad days, I do. But uh, one of the things that helped me was coming to places like this. It just makes you feel very present. It's just peaceful. But I'm really in the moment. Obviously, coming to these places is not just the answer. Obviously, seek uh, professional advice if you're struggling. But I think maybe just having a walk in your local park would be uh, beneficial. On top of um, seeking advice or um, talking to friends, all these will put you in a much better frame of mind and a better place, as it did for me. Lovely. Now I've got to get back to you. I'd say I'm about uh, just over a third of the way, one third. to the edge of it now on the cat's back probably circling round here and then uh, straight over the top top of the black mountain there
really enjoying this. Typical. Every time I go to record that cuckoo, just bloody stops. Bloody knows I'm filming, I reckon. So yeah, I can see a trig point in the distance. This walk kind of reminds me of the Lawley in Shropshire, actually, sort of like a knife edge thing. It's great, I was talking to a great guy earlier, just saying he was in the army and uh, he'd been all over the world and he says nothing compares to the views like this, like the Black Mountains, Wales, England. So it's nothing better, incredible. Lucky to have this and explore at our own leisure. I was going to go and touch it, but <laughs> I'll jump over in a bit. Yeah, really uh, recommend this walk. Great panoramic views over the uh, Black Mountain Range, Brecon Beacons and uh, Could you see Hay Bluff in the background there? The trig point? The final trig point of today. Absolutely baking out here. I'm gonna get a tan on, I've got my shades on and everything. I look like a bloody lobster at the end of this. <laughs> Do you know, as I was walking up here then, there was this gust of wind across the hill. And obviously it was blowing against the grass. It's on like a bloody plane flying over. So yeah, there we go. That's the office dike path. Heading that way towards uh, the trick point just there. Uh, cool, let's get this trick point and I'll see if I've got enough juice in my drone to have a final flight. It's quite nice, isn't it? There she is. Hey Bluff, I think it's called. Interesting name. Not as interesting as Lord Hereford Shears Knob, though. I'd love to know the story behind the name of that one. Oh, this one looks quite quite a good view, actually. There she is. So yeah, it was a really nice circular walk. I'll, I'll put a link below if you're interested in the route I took. So yeah, as I'm speaking to you now, I'm just packing my last things for my trip to Morocco. So my next upload will probably be, hopefully, climbing Tubcal and reaching the top. I'll be trying to update on social media my progress as I as I go up, but um, if not, I'll hopefully see you in the in the video. I might be doing like a little premiere of it on here on YouTube as well so that um but i'll be giving details before then so i will see you then mm -hmm.